How you doing this morning? This is Tom Styles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 399. 399, almost to that magic 400. Well, I got this book in the mail this weekend, and this book is a series of books called Hints and Kinks, and this is the 18th edition. And what it really is, and it's put out by the AARRL, and it's um, a collection of articles from their QST magazine over, you know, over the years. And it's, it's just little hints and ideas of how to improve your uh, shortwave listing, your amateur radio hobby, and things in general like that. And I'm going to do a, a review of it, but this is not the review. But when I was looking over this book um, this weekend, I saw some simple things that, you know, it's like, yeah, okay. I um, Something that I, you know, knew about and I'm doing, but maybe it's not widely known. And one of the things is nowadays you end up with a lot of these wall warts, you know, they um, they tend to take up a lot of room on your AC outlets, either the, your wall outlets or if you've got a power strip, they take up a lot of room and consequently you, in some cases, you can't get a whole lot of those on a power strip, for instance. Well, a couple of years ago, I discovered a little device that fixes that problem and it does a good job of it and it's mentioned in this book matter of fact I'll turn to it right now Ooh, that's not it here it is and I probably have to zoom in here uh, I think you can see that is these what they call power strip liber liberators and let's see uh, this was I was trying to see if they said when this original article was published, but it doesn't say. So anyway, so what it is, is just a short power extension, AC power extension, so you can get those little wall warts away from your power strip. And here's one right here. I've got about 15 of these. Some of them I've got have um, a clear plastic on this end and an LED just to make it fancy. I don't know. It, that, to me, it doesn't really serve any purpose because when it's plugged in, um, it's plugged in. There's not a whole lot much to fail. So you got the little LED there. And I get the ones with the um, LEDs when they're available from Walmart. They're, they're like a package of three for under $5. So I'm always looking for those. And they go fast, so consequently sometimes I have to get these, which I got off of Amazon, and I think I got a better deal. I think I got 5 for $5 off of Amazon. And with Prime, I got free shipping. So, you know, this plugs into your power strip, and now you can move this away from your power strip so that you can plug in your big old bulky wall wart into this. And... Put, you know, you got say you got five or six outlets. You put five or six of these, and then you know you can spread things out so they're not all bunched up and interfering with each other on the power strip. So I thought that was just a cool thing. That it's not new. Most of you probably know about them, but they're really handy, really handy, especially if you're like me. You got a lot of wall words. So. That's one thing I found in this issue. And this issue is, I got it used off of Amazon, and it's copyright 2012-13, 2013, excuse me. So it's fairly new. And I don't think they duplicate, in this series of books, I don't think they duplicate anything from book to book. So they're all different. Like I say, this is the 18th edition. So there, there's 18 of these books. And I've, I've found them handy. 
I've done reviews on them before. In this particular issue, or issue, yeah, I call it issue because it's a series, is there's a section on uh, antenna systems. And it's a pretty big section. Let's see, it's chapter 8, and it's 40 pages. So it's 40 pages on antenna systems. And they go over such things as, in the beginning here, they show you how to uh, wire up a connector here. Um, this is a PL259 connector. And it shows you using adapters. There's two adapters available. If you have, if you're going to use the smaller diameter coax cable uh, instead of the larger RG8 cable. And then there's uh, other uh, articles in here about, I think there's one at the very end of this chapter. Let's see if I can find it. Maybe it's another chapter. I guess it's another chapter, but I thought it was one. Yeah, I guess it's another chapter. It shows you how to do other soldering of connectors onto braided coax. And like I say, just just this chapter alone here has a lot of useful, useful things about antennas. Here, for instance, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Here is a portable antenna. It's a dipole antenna and it has two reels that are used to hold the wire for transporting and then when you get to your location, your campsite, your park, whatever, you can unroll these and string them up at a tree. And this particular one has a hundred feet of wire on both sides and then it has a coupler in the middle here, a ballum in the middle, it's probably a one-to-one -one ballum maybe. Uh, doesn't say in the article what the ballum is. But, uh, you know, there's there's a quick and dirty, uh, they call it the backpacker's dipole, and uh, it, uh, it'll, it'll do a pretty good job with shortwave, and, you know, even if, uh, say for instance, you live in an area where you're not allowed to string up antennas, we can put one of these up temporarily, do some shortwave listing, and then take it down and not get into trouble. But um, I'll, I'll go over this book in more depth in a future show. But I just wanted to, I saw that one thing about these little handy things, and I thought, you know, I need to tell people about this in case they didn't know about it. So anyway, that's, that's kind of what I wanted to show you today. Um, if you haven't entered the giveaway, we're going to have a giveaway at the 400th show, which is, that could happen this afternoon, could happen tomorrow. Uh, we're, remember, we're at 399, 399, so it's the next show. I'm going to give away that multimeter. What did I do with that multimeter? I had it here a minute ago. And... Uh, so all you have to do to enter the contest is send me an email at trrs73, Thomas Rear Room Show, 73 at gmail.com. Tell me the state you live in because I have to restrict it to the continental United States because of the postage situation. And just say you want to enter the contest for the 400th show giveaway. And I'll put your name in a hat, and probably in the next few days, I'm going to get all those names, put them in a hat, put out a hat, and somebody's going to win that multimeter. So don't miss out on that. Uh, also, we're doing pretty good on uh, new subscriptions this month. There was kind of a lull there in September. I don't know why, but it's really picked up in October. And... Um, we're getting close to 3,000 subscribers, and uh, I got I got to pick out a radio here pretty soon, so that I can announce the giveaway for a radio for the uh, when we reach 3,000 subscribers. 
So that's coming up. Also, uh, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed. Like I say, subscriptions have been up. That's good. And I want to thank everybody that's been using my Amazon store. Um, I ordered um, the new um, Eton Traveler 3 radio. This is a brand new radio. It's just now come on the market. And they are today. There's a few available. So my order went through today. I've had, had them on back order for a while. It went through today. And I should get that new Eton Traveler 3 um, Friday. So hopefully uh, I can learn enough about it so that maybe this weekend do a show on the Eton Traveler 3. And maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe for that 400th show, I'll do a review on that Eton Traveler 3. Hopefully I'll get it and learn how to use it in time to do that. If not, not a big deal. We'll, ha we'll still have our giveaway here. And let's see, it's supposed to be here Friday. Yeah, it might coincide with that 400th show. So anyway, if you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.